coming up today in the morning blend she's a student on a mission meet the high schooler hoping to change lives through healthy eating that's right Kitchen. Here we go. It's the student who has a heart of gold. Megan Alexander is working to help young people in Vegas learn about healthy eating. The Meadows High School senior joins us with Nancy Stone, who is the volunteer executive director. Good morning. Andrew, you're with more. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Good morning. to both of you. This is so exciting to, to have you here. And you created this thing called Create a Change Now. Megan, can you tell us what it's all about? Yes, it's a nonprofit organization here in Vegas, and our goal is to really change the way children eat. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know how many people know this, but Nevada ranks 11th in prevalence for childhood obesity. Wow! wow. So it's something I've become really passionate about, and I want to change it. <laughs> well, you know, I, I gotta say, by the way, it's a relief coming into the kitchen, not seeing a stove. So now I know that the fire alarm wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, uh, so how are you looking to promote these healthier habits? Well, we want to teach them where their food comes from. Mm -hmm. So many kids go to the grocery store and they walk down the aisles and yes, they see the produce there, but that's not where food comes from. So we bring them into the gardens, we raise funds and we plant edible gardens in local at-risk elementary schools. And then we get in the dirt with them and nice. we plant the produce. When it's ready to be picked, we bring in chef partners and we show them recipes. And Nancy, how long have you been involved in this and what kind of growth have you seen? I've been involved in just about a year. We started a fundraiser last mm -hmm. year at the Firefly restaurant mm -hmm. and we earned enough money so that we could plant an edible garden at Rose Warren Elementary. And we did that just a few months ago where Carolyn Goodman and Lois Tartanian came and cut the ribbon and now the, the garden is flourishing and the children are able to get down in the dirt, grow the vegetables, take them home, cook, mm -hmm and they really are getting a sense of where things come from. Who takes care of that garden now? Actually, the, the, the students kids get do. Involved exactly. and get hands, yes. and hands, hands in the and dirt. And, and they have a salsa garden, they have a salad garden, and wow. it complements their school lunch program right now. Wow. And, and how did you come up with this idea? Just thinking about it? Or, and I know your dad's a doctor, so I'm sure you're very aware of health concerns and, and eating properly. Well, personally, I'm just passionate about a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. I love to run, mm -hmm. and I realize that eating is the other component of that. Mm -hmm. So I bring it together, and I want to help children realize this, too. Were you surprised? by kids disconnect about where food really comes from? Exactly. I mean, I never knew either. How are we supposed to know? <laughs> if you're not so, taught, exactly. Yes, it's our job to go in and teach them and they can continue the, this lifestyle. A lot of the children at the at-risk schools think that their foods come, or no, when they leave school they go to the 7-Eleven and yeah. they get, they get it's in prepackaged. Pre packaged yeah. process. And there's a Wally oh. World in every corner, and That's so right. they just go in That's and right. get it. That's right. And you brought in some great healthy choices. Can we kind of go through what it is that you did bring in this morning? Yes, okay. So kids love to eat things that are fun to eat. Uh, How about so an do ice adults. cream cone? <laughs> yes. Little kids and big kids. <laughs> yeah, so ice cream cone, what's more fun than that? Mm -hmm. But instead of the ice cream cone filled with ice cream, let's fill it with vegetables. Let's get them excited about this. Um, what I have done is I've made it fun for the kids. Mm -hmm. And I've created an ice cream cone that instead of topping it with whipped cream, whipped cream, yes, and instead of topping it with ranch dressing, which is full of cream, I have put the ranch dip in some Greek yogurt. Oh wow! And so they're getting their protein at the same time. Mm -hmm. And here's something that parents look can how know. cute this <laughs> is. What it a really great idea. with kids a lot of it with kids is presentation. Exactly. Presentation has a lot to do with it. That is actually really good looking. You're making it fun for the kids because the kids don't want to eat adult sure, food. They right. want to have their own style of food. Look at that! Look at that this. is awesome. This is like an ice cream cone. <laughs> it's fun to it. eat. That is darling. And what else other things could you throw in this out? To do with Sorry. this, do you think? With the with the snow yeah. cone? Well, what, or what else would you put in there? I'm gonna have some. Oh, oh well you can cut up some jicama or mm -hmm. some radishes mm -hmm. to add the, the color. The jicama is really crunchy and mm -hmm. delicious. And sweet. And, and very and sweet. Juicy. Yes, yeah, I love yes, it. yes, yes, yes. You Aren't can we? substitute any vegetables. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing a bevy of stuff over there as well. It, it's, it's all about uh, finding finding deals on food and you and that's why people seem to get the pre-processed stuff but you can find deals on this stuff mm -hmm. as well right you can grow your own actually. exactly I have a garden most of the people that are on the board at, at create a change now we have our own garden we're partnered with a company here in town people don't garden people farms. don't think you can grow stuff here but you, you can. can you Is totally it hard? Can. no it's not hard it's not at hard. all <laughs> and it's just it's therapy mm -hmm. it's great therapy and you get really fresh delicious food I do want to mention one thing we're having a fundraiser at Tracy's okay. mm -hmm. um, Tracy's is a boutique in the Trail Center across from the Summerlin Library and 10% of all the proceeds that we make tomorrow are going to be going to Create a Change Now. She's got a fabulous boutique, fabulous shopping for the holidays. Mm -hmm. We'd love you to all come out and please support our 
cause. We just recently got a grant from the Speedway Children's Charity. Oh, nice. oh, and so that'll allow us to plant two more gardens here in the valley. And we've been doing all sorts of fundraisers. We had a um, fundraiser down at the Trails Village Center Art Walk last week. Mm -hmm. But in the end, we are a grassroots organization. We rely on the community to help us out. Yeah. So if anybody is interested in volunteering or donating, they can go to our website, mm -hmm. createachangenow.org, and we need volunteers in the classroom, in the gardens. If any business owners are interested in leaving a legacy here in Vegas, they can sponsor a garden. If any restaurant owners want to host chef demonstrations. Mm -hmm. Anything it might be. And you know what though, this it, it's something that's so basic that's not being taught to kids. So that's why it's so exactly. important that you guys are doing what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, and hopefully you're going to take this to other schools as well and branch out. I'll so. never stop. Yeah, I know that's question. wonderful. And yeah. you know, now we'll let you go back to school, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping in. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Again, don't forget on Thursday, November 17th, Tracy's Boutique will donate 10% of the day's proceeds to Create a Change Now. For more information on Create a Change Now, call the number or check out the website on your screen. They are also on Facebook and Twitter. Still to come on the Morning Blend, Making Las Vegas.